Welcome to FM Shushon Academy. Okay, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the subscribe button there, down. So you click on subscribe. For those ones who have been subscribed, you click on the subscribe button button there's a button written read down written subscribe okay we are continuing with the equation of a straight line okay now in the exam sometimes they may bring a question like for example this is question one. They may they may say find the equation of the straight line. with the gradient 5 passing through two comma four. okay meaning that is a point so they want you to find the equation of a straight line with a gradient 5 passing through 2 comma 4. So this, we're trying to find the equation provided you have got the gradient and one point. You have got the gradient 5 and the point 2 comma 4. Whenever they give you such equation, the first thing you do is we're trying to find the solution. So the first thing that you do you write the equation y is equal to mx plus c. Okay? You remember m means a gradient. Huh? So m is a gradient. If you remember, looking at the question here, the gradient here, it's, the gradient is 5. So it means m is 5. m is 5. Here, don't, you don't find the gradient first because the gradient is already given. And then the point that you are looking at, huh? It is two comma four. That was a point. I'll name it point A since it's not labeled for us. So I've just labeled it, labeled it point A. So the first number it's a x coordinate. The last number is a y coordinate. So now I can solve this. Okay. So where there is y here, you can see y here is what y here it's what y is 4 so where there is y there i put 4 is equal to m m is 5 so where there is m there i bring 5 and then x x you can see x there it's 2 so where there is x there i put 2 plus c so 4 is equal to 5 times 2 it is 10 plus c so all these letters should be on the left hand side so positive C when it crosses becomes negative C. What remains there is 10. This positive 4 crosses side becomes negative 4. Negative 4. So negative C is equal to 10 minus 4. It is 6. So I'll continue. So it will be that is negative C is equal to 6. I'm continuing with the way it was solved. So... I will divide by negative 1 there, even there by negative 1. So, so when I divide by negative 1 there, what do you have? Negative 1 there, negative 1 there. Oh, I mean negative 1 cancels that negative. What remains is C. This negative 1, negative 1 will be given to 6 on top. So it will become negative 6. So final equation is Y is equal to y is equal to the gradient is what 5 
x plus c is negative 6. Okay. So, let me continue solving since there's no space there. So, I'll continue solving it this side. So, final equation is y is equal to 5x. This positive and this this positive and this negative will form negative 6. So, this is it. Okay. Because y is equal to 5x plus c. Since now, I have already found c. So, c is substituted in the equation of a straight line. So, that is the equation. So, that's how you solve this type of questions, guys. Same, same thing sometimes. Uh, some of you, I noticed, you are getting confused. For example, if they give you a question like this, and then they bring a line maybe there, they name this one as the P, PZ, for example. And then they say this one is, uh, let's say, 2, comma 0, for example. And then this one is negative 5. Um, this one is, uh, they don't tell you, you should know, because when you're moving the side, is 0. 0, comma, negative 5, for example. Mm. And then they want you to find it. Uh, the question is, this is a Venn diagram, by the way. This is the X or Y plane. X or Y. X or Y plane. Okay. X or Y plane. So, they want you to find, the question is, find the equation of find the equation of the find the equation of the straight line okay find the equation of a straight line so which straight, which straight line are you looking at? PZ. So have you seen? I said whenever they give you two points. So this point here, Z, is 2, comma 0. P, it is 0, comma negative 5. The first thing, when they give you two points, you label those points there. P, P is 2, comma 0. 2, comma 0. Z is Z is zero comma negative five. Zero comma negative five. People are getting confused. I told you that first when I when they give you two points, you label them. Okay, this is question two. We are solving it now. The answer. So this is x one, y one. Can you have find the gradient first? X two, y two. And then you say gradient means m. You see here. They have given you two points. The previous question, they didn't give you two points. They only gave you one. And they already gave you the gradient. That's how you went direct. So, gradient of PZ, which is the gradient of the line PZ, difference in Y, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, which is going to be equal to Y2 is negative 5, Y twist negative 5 minus 0 over X2 is 0 minus X1 is 2. Okay. So that will be equal to negative 5 over negative 2. Okay. Since there are two negatives, one on top, the other down to cancel. So this negative here on top cancel that negative down. So we we'll have five over two, which is a gradient. So we proceed to the equation of a straight line. So y is equal to mx plus c. Mx plus c. So we'll pick either of the points. This time, I'll pick the first point. Like I said, you pick the first point, 2, 0. 
So I'll come there. I'll put the point here 2, comma, 0, like this. I said the first number is a x coordinate. The second number is a y coordinate. So where there is y, I'll put 0. You can see what I'm saying, huh? Well, this y is 0 there. So meaning where there is y, I put 0. So why there is y there, I put 0 is equal to. The gradient is 5 over 2. We calculated it. 5 over 2. Well, from calculating the gradient, don't get confused, guys. The gradient is this one. The one from calculating 5 over 2. So x, x is 2. Where there is x there, I'll put 2. Plus c. 0 is equal to n number on its own 2 is over 1. So so it's like so it's like 5 times 2. So 2 into 2 there it's 1. 2 into 2 there it's 1. 5 times that 1 it is 5. 1 times 1 down is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. There's 1 there. So it's 5 over 1 plus C. So I proceed. 0 is equal to 5 over 1 plus C. So any number divided by 1 in itself. So 5 over 1 means 5 plus C. So C will go this side. becomes negative. 5 will remain there. So negative C is equal to 5. You divide by negative 1 both sides. Here negative 1. There negative 1. There negative 1. So what remains is C is equal to negative 5. So after finding C as negative 5, now you substitute in the main equation now. So Y is, since C is negative Y, Y is equal to M, which is 5 over 2, the gradient, X plus C is negative 5. C here is negative 5. So at the end I put negative 5. So plus negative 5. So I separate by bracket. So Y is equal to 5 over 2x, positive times negative, is negative 5. So this is the equation of that straight line. So you can solve the exercise. Okay. I'm posting the exercise. Solve with this. Revise. This is the exercise. Question one. Find the equation of the straight line with the gradient three and passes through four comma zero passes through four comma zero question two find the equation of the Straight line passing through negative four, comma, negative two and has the gradient two. Lastly they give you they give you the zero three Okay, so 
so that is zero, that is three, that is six, and then this is two, negative two, negative four, that is three here, there the equation goes this side, the number line goes this side is six. This is A, that is B. Okay. Question. Question of that one is eh? find the equation of the line AB. Okay. So solve that question. Thank you. So solve those questions, the ones I've just given you.